everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Falling Leaves slouch, which is this uh, very slouchy hat that you see here. Now this slouch has been crocheted using a 100% hand painted wool yarn. It's a worsted weight. Uh, the yarn was made by Briggs and Little Woolen mills um, for a small uh, yarn shop in Nova Scotia called Woolies of Upper Brook Farm. Now if you are going to be making this hat of course you're welcome to find some Briggs and Little yarn of your own. They have a wonderful website that you can visit or else you may use any worsted medium weight yarn okay for this hat. I will pull apart the stitches here. This hat is made up of these cluster stitches that are challenging to see with this worsted weight yarn but you can see them uh, just right in here. Okay so it's made up of these cluster stitches. Uh, the hat is only, uh, let me see here, 15, 15 row rounds long so it works up very very quickly once you get your brim completed. I've done a slip stitch brim but if you would choose you're welcome to do a single crochet or a half double crochet brim as well. It's just up to you. So this is the hat we're going to make today as well. You can find the free written crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. You can also visit my Revelry or Etsy shop where you will find a uh, paid PDF pattern if you'd like to download and go. You're also going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and uh, a course of pair of scissors and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. In total, you're going to need about 200 yards of your worsted weight yarn for this hat. Okay, so about 200 yards of your yarn. Uh, once you have all your materials together and you've found the crochet pattern on my blog, richtexterscrochet.com, uh, we can get started. So thank you so much for joining me here. If this is your first time or you're relatively new to my channel or haven't already, please consider subscribing. And uh, I like to update this channel weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials and even the occasional uh, YouTube live. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making the ribbed brim of this hat, which you can see here. So we're going to start by taking our yarn and making our slip knot. And the brim of this hat is worked in rows. What we're going to do is we're going to start by chaining eight stitches. There's eight. And then you are going to, starting in the second chain from your hook, slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Now here is where, if you would rather work a single crochet stitch or a half double crochet stitch, you're welcome to do uh, that throughout. So instead of working slip stitches, you would substitute your slip stitches for half double crochets or single crochet stitches. Today I'm going to work slip stitches. So in that second chain from hook, one, two, slip stitch, in that stitch, and in each stitch all the way across. So at the end of this row, this row one, you are going to have a total of seven slip stitches. Just like so. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now working in the back loop only, you're going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. To find the back loop only, you're going to take a look at the top of your stitches, as you can see here in the camera. And I'm just going to take my crochet hook so I can point them out. When you look at the top of your stitch, you see a V here that's made up of these two horizontal bars. That's the top of your stitch. To find the back loop, it is the loop that is farthest away from you, that bar that is furthest away. So to work into it, to work your slip stitch, you're simply going to insert your hook under that one back loop. 
and work your slip stitch in it. So you're going to work from here on out in that back loop only. So slip stitch or single crochet or half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. Now for the rest of your brim, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn and you're simply going to repeat that. So slip stitch in the back loop only and each stitch all the way across. You're going to repeat that until your work from the beginning measures approximately 19 inches. If you would like a tighter fitting hat, you might uh, choose to do 18. Uh, so 18 or 19 inches. It's really up to you. Okay, so continue to repeat that slip stitch row until you have worked 18 or 19 inches. Then meet me back here and we will join it together. Okay, welcome back. So you will now have completed your ribbing and you will find that when you work this slip stitch ribbing, you'll find that your uh, hat brim has quite a bit of stretch to it which is nice but it's also tight enough that it's not going to lose its shape uh, with wear okay so this is what your brim is going to look like about 18 or 19 inches long now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to join this together so taking your two ends and being careful not to twist them you're going to line them up now working through both thicknesses and in the back loops only of each side you're going to slip stitch in each stitch across so again i worked in the back loops only of the first one back loop only of the second one and you're going to slip stitch in each all the way across and this is just going to sew our seam together. It's going to sew the two ends together. So you will have seven slip stitches. When you come to the end of that row, there's no need to fasten off. And you're going to turn your work so the right side is facing out. And if you choose to now, you may want to weave in any ends that are there. Okay, so now you have the brim of your hat complete. For the rest of this pattern, you're going to be working in rounds. So for round one, you are going to chain one and evenly work 82 half double crochet stitches all the way around. So there are no uh, pretty places to insert your hook. So you're just going to go where uh, your hook sort of falls naturally. Um, I like to go down a few threads. I feel like it makes it a little bit sturdier um, and maybe a stronger join here around the brim of the hat. So work 82 half double crochets all the way around. If that is overwhelming, I would recommend placing stitch markers, maybe about halfway around. And then you know that you can work 41 on one side and 41 on the other side. Uh, and it might help you make your stitches a little bit more even all the way around. So work 82 half double crochet stitches all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch. I am just joining here in my first stitch with a slip stitch and you will now have 82 half double crochet stitches all the way around. Uh, at this point we are not going to turn, we are going to chain one and for round two you're going to work in the third loop and you're going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way around, working in that third loop. So to find your third loop, what you're going to do is pull your work forward. And when you look at the back of your work, when it comes to this half double crochet stitch, 
and it's hard to see because the first one is a darker color here with my variegated yarn but you can see that you have this top horizontal bar which is the top of your stitch and then you have this other horizontal bar that runs along parallel underneath of it this loop that is at the back of your work is called your third loop okay so you'll see it here it, so this is the top of your stitch and we're looking at the back of our work this is the top of your stitch and the one right under it running parallel is your third loop so that is a third loop that is where you're going to be working uh, for this second round you're going to in the working in the third loop all the way around half double crochet in each stitch so yarn over then insert your hook only under that third loop and complete your half double crochet stitch continue to do that all the way around and what you will see is that it's going to push the top of your stitch forward and it's going to create this little ridge here. It almost looks like it's been knit. Okay, so continue working in the third loop all the way around. You're going to have 82 stitches still uh, by the time you come back and you're going to join in the first stitch with a slip stitch. Okay, I am finishing my round two here. I'm just joining with a slip stitch in my first stitch. So you can see that I have my nice half, uh, my third loop, half double crochet ridge here uh, around the base of my hat. I'm now going to start working my cluster stitches to get that kind of uh, model design there in the hat. And I'm going to, I'm not going to, going to turn my work, not yet. I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to start by single crocheting in that first stitch. So in the same stitch as joining, work one single crochet stitch. Next, you're going to chain three. And now you will cluster over the next four stitches. Now a cluster in this pattern is a double crochet four together. So how you do that is you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the first stitch, in the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and draw through two of those loops. This is the first leg of your cluster. You're going to do that three times over, more times over the next three stitches. So you're going to have a total of four legs in this cluster and a total of five loops on your hook. Okay, so repeat that yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw the loop. With four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through two loops. You're left with three. The next leg, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw a loop five loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two of those loops, you're left with four. One last leg, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two, and you're left with five loops on your hook. Once you have five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through all five loops, and that is your cluster stitch. Next, you're going to chain one and single crochet in the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that chain three and cluster over the next four stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop yarn over and draw through two loops. Repeat that three more times. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. Repeat that again. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. One last time. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. With five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops. 
Your cluster is now made. Continue your repeat chain one, single crochet in the next si stitch, and repeat. Chain three, cluster over the next four stitches, Chain one, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, cluster over the next four stitches. Chain one, single crochet in the next stitch. So repeat that all the way around to your first stitch and you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Welcome back. So once you come back to the beginning, uh, you are going to have a couple stitches left on work there. You're going to end with your chain one and you're going to slip stitch into the top of that single crochet stitch there. Now at this point, you are going to turn your work, okay? And we are going to start round four with a chain five. And this chain five is going to count um, as your single crochet stitch there and a chain three. So with your chain five, you're going to single crochet. After your chain five, you're going to single crochet in the top of the next cluster stitch. Then you're going to chain three and cluster in the next chain three space. So this is your chain three space here. You're going to work a cluster stitch. So that was your double crochet four together. chain one and single crochet in the top of the next cluster. You're going to repeat chain three, cluster in the next chain three space. Chain one and single crochet in the top of the next cluster stitch. Repeat that and you're going to repeat that all the way around. And when you come around uh, to the very beginning, you're going to double crochet into the base of that chain five. So into that single, what would, would have been a single crochet stitch into the base of your chain five. Okay. so continue to repeat that all the way around and then meet me back here and we will get ready for round five. So I'm just completing my round four. I'm working my final double crochet stitch. Uh, I've worked my final cluster. I have a chain one and now I'm going to double crochet into the base of that starting chain five just like so. I'm then going to chain one and turn my work. For round five, I'm going to start by working a single crochet in the top of that first cluster. Chain three and cluster in the next chain three space. Chain one, single crochet in the top of my next cluster, chain three, and cluster in the next chain three space. 
So you're going to repeat that all the way around your hat. When you come back to the beginning, you're going to end with your chain one after working that cluster stitch, and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch. So repeat all the way around back to your first stitch, and I'll meet you back there. So now finishing up round five, I've chained one, and I'm going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that first cluster stitch. Now what we are going to do is we are going to repeat rounds four and five. So those are the last two rounds. We're going to chain one and turn and we're going to repeat rounds four and five once more. So that's for rounds six and seven. And then you're going to repeat round four one more time. So repeat rounds four and five once more and then round four and uh, that will bring you to the end of your cluster stitches and then we're going to work the top of the hat so once you've completed those next three rows and i'll complete them here on my hat uh, meet me back here and we'll start our decrease rounds okay so you will now be to the end of round eight and uh, you've joined at the base of your chain five with your double crochet stitch, which was uh, a repeat of round four. And we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. We're now going to start, and I'm going to turn it back right side out here. We're now going to start uh, our uh, the top of our hat and then into our decrease rounds. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to evenly work 78 half double crochet stitches all the way around so um, again if you if it, you would find that it helps I would place a stitch marker in the top of um, or sorry halfway around your hat so that you know where uh, the halfway mark is you can put half stitches on one side half the stitches on the other uh, and other than that simply work half double crochet stitches, 78 of them evenly all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch and there is no need at this point to turn your work, okay? So 78 half double crochet stitches evenly all the way around, join with your slip stitch in your first stitch and uh, do not turn your work. At the end of your 78 half double crochet stitches, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch. Now this next round, uh, round 10, will be the first of your decrease rounds. You're not going to turn your work, you're going to start by chaining 3. Your chain three will count as a double crochet stitch. So when you come around to the beginning, you're always going to join in the top of it. You're now going to double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And one, two, and three. And now double crochet two together. To double crochet two together, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. With three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through two. That's the first leg of your double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. You'll have three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through two, or all three, sorry. Once you have your double crochet two together, you're going to double crochet in each of the next four stitches. There's one, two, three, and four, and double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around your hat to the very first chain three and join with a slip stitch in the top of that chain three. At the end of round 10, you're going to have a total of 65 stitches. You're going to chain three 
do not turn your work. You're going to continue working in the same direction and you're going to double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And double crochet two together over the next two stitches. Double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And double crochet two together. You're now going to repeat that all the way around, double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. At the end of round 11, you're going to have a total of 52 stitches. For round 12, you're going to chain three and double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet two together and double crochet in each of the next two stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Double crochet two together and double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Continue all the way around. When you return to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in the top. At the end of round 12, you're going to have a total of 39 stitches. For round 13, you're going to begin by chaining three and then double crochet two together over the next two stitches. Next, double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around. Double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet two together. Once you return to your first stitch, you're going to join in the top of that stitch with a slip stitch. At the end of round 13, you're going to have a total of 26 stitches. For round 14, you're going to start this time by chaining two and then double crochet in the next stitch. This is going to be your double crochet two together. You're now going to double crochet two together all the way around. When you return to that first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. And then you're going to repeat that round 14 one more time, okay? So continue uh, to work all this all the way around, double crochet two together all the way around, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch, and then repeat that round one more time. So at the end of your round 15, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch, and then you're going to fasten off, and you're going to leave a little bit of a long tail. Now if you look at the top of your hat, you're going to have something that looks like this. And it's going to have a little hole here at the top. And what I did to close it was I simply took my yarn and I wove it in and out of the stitches. Just like so. And when I came around back to my first stitch there, I pulled, pushed my needle down into the center on the inside of the hat, flip your hat over, and then I just pulled the drawstring closed. 
So you can see there that it's going to completely close in the top of your hat and you'll have just a nice little seam. I then just very discreetly uh, made a knot through the just a bottom couple uh, pieces of the yarn. I know knots aren't always recommended, but I just wanted to make sure that the top of my hat was secure. Now if you wanted, you could always embellish the hat, put a pom-pom on it or a cute button or something. It's up to you. And then I wove in my final end. So it was a little more hidden. And then I clipped it off. You can go ahead there and uh, clean up any other loose ends that you might have. But other than that, that is it. That is your Falling Leaves slouch hat. So thank you so much for joining me. And once again, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out some of the other videos there. And I hope to see you and connect with you across Facebook and Instagram and uh, all that good stuff. So thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Enjoy your Falling Leaves slouch hat. Happy crocheting. Bye.